Hey guys, it's Sienna. And today I'm going to show you guys how to make indie jewelry. The last video I did about how to make jewelry like blew up. It has like 6k views, which is crazy. It's like one of my most popular videos on my channel. So I decided to make part two since a lot of people liked it. But yeah, I don't have very much to say. But thank you guys so much for all the support. We're almost at 900 subscribers. We're getting so fast. It's crazy. I love all you guys so much. Um, also, make sure to go check out my Depop because if you want to buy like all the supplies or stuff like that, I sell rings and necklaces and like a bunch of other stuff with my friend. So make sure to go check it out because um, all the rings are under six dollars. So yeah, actually no, most of the rings are under six dollars. And yeah, let's get right into the video. First, you're gonna need any pliers for the necklace. Um, I'm using these pliers, Michaels, some necklace cord or string and some wire. I got this from Michaels, it's 18 gauge. And lastly, you're gonna need a rock or crystal. It's easier to wrap flat rocks to start off with. First, you're just gonna take your wire and you're gonna unravel it. After you cut off a pretty decent size piece, you're just going to take your wire and in your pliers and you're going to make a little circle. Just make sure you have um, some excess wire at the end. Once you have the excess wire, you're going to take the wire and wrap it around itself. I'm not sure if I'm explaining it very well, but I think you can see in the video what I'm doing. Next, you're going to take your wire and your pliers and you're going to take the wire and put it halfway through the rock and then you're going to bend it in half again and then just wrap it around itself. Um, I'm not very good at explaining, but I think hopefully you can see what I'm doing right now. You're going to have to adjust the top while you're going, but hopefully this works. And just wrap it around itself. Just make sure you bend it in half, otherwise it won't stay in place. gonna stop once you have a little bit excess at the top usually I have more excess and you can just cut it off but I, I just decided to take my pliers and wrap the excess around the top so it would stay and this is what it should look like when you're done um, I really like this method it's really easy And so next I'm going to take my jump ring and I'm going to fold it in half so it's open, if that makes any sense. And then you're going to put it through the other hole of the wire and then just close it when you're done. After that you're going to take your string or uh, what is it called? I forgot. And then you're going to cut some of it off just the size of whatever size you want and then string it through your hole. This might take a couple tries because it's a small jump ring. Next, you're going to take another jump ring and you're going to open it and put it through your string or whatever the wire is called. I'm sorry, I'm blanking on the name. And then when you're done with that, you're going to take your lobster class and put it through there and then you're just going to close it. When you're done with that side, you're just going to repeat it but without the lobster class on the other side. And you're done. Okay, for this ring, you're going to need pliers or scissors. I'm using these pliers. A ring mandrel or something to wrap your wire around, like a marker. Any beads or crystals, I'm going to use um, these pink crystals for this. Um, I think I got these from Michaels. And some 18-gauge wire. First, you're going to take the wire and take it off the thing and cut some off. I'm not sure how much this is, but I just kind of eyed it. And then you're going to put your beads through. I did three crystals, but it depends on what look you want. Then you're going to fold that in half so, they're stay, so they can stay in place. And then you're going to put the wire onto your ring mandrel or marker. Like so. And then you're going to twist your wire around so that both the wire tips are facing up. 
and then you're gonna start by bending your wire around the beads. Um, this takes a lot of practice to get used to, but once you do it a bunch of times, you get used to it. And you wanna do this on both sides so it can stay in place. After that, you're going to take your wire and put it under your ring and then pull it through with your pliers. You don't need pliers for this, but it's a lot easier with pliers. And then you're going to do this on the other side. When you're done with this, um, you can just repeat this as many times as you want. It depends on what kind of look you want for the ring, um, but yeah. Then you're going to cut off your excess, excess wire and then just wrap it around so the wire isn't sticking out and you're basically done. Okay, to make these earrings, you're going to need some earring hooks, some extra wire, I'm using 18 gauge again, some pliers or any scissors work too. Then you're going to cut off a piece of wire, doesn't really matter the size, and then you're going to take your wire and make it into a little circle again, but you don't need to leave any excess. When you're done with that, you're going to take your earring hook and you're going to open it up and put it through your hook that you just made. And then you're just gonna close that. When it's all closed, you're going to take your beads and you're gonna put any beads through. I'm just using these Amethyst and Moonstone from Michaels. And you can do any pattern or like any beads you want. It really doesn't matter. I've seen some with safety pins. And then you're just gonna cut the excess off. And then you take your pliers again and make another loop like the same one you made at the beginning. Um, you don't need any access just so it will stay in place. And yeah, and then you're done with the earring. And then you just do the same with the other side. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to my channel because we're almost at 900. So yeah, bye!